All right, there we go. Hello, everyone. How's it going, team? Here, and this is BXJS coding live stream. Another one. You guys were pretty intrigued by the JS Craft. Um, I still regret naming it this way. Um, about JS Craft, and you know, you wanted me to continue working on that. So that is exactly what we're gonna do. And um, yeah, so last time we implemented the basic uh, version of it, and there's already some potential vulnerability here. That is interesting. Um, let's check it out. Next JS high severity. Okay. Uh, I've got to figure out what is going on here. Upgrade to next version 702 or later. There is an XSS. Okay, that is not good. So we shall upgrade that. Right. So last time we implemented the very basic thing. And um, I guess let's just continue. Let's to do make our basic to do's here and you know, fix the Monaco service workers and maybe move the logic to the servers workers as well and try to implement the second conditional mission in our case and make some mission selection is the very basic one. And uh, yeah, let's see how it goes, shall we? So we uh, Yeah, as I said, let's start by uh, working with um, or creating the server, I guess, and statically serving the Monaco um, Oh, service workers. This is what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to go into VSL once again. This is not what I want. Uh, no, come on. Just uh, let me No, No, come on. There we go. Okay. Um, and I am let me think what kind of like we don't need extremely complex server. But on the other hand, I feel like, oh, man, it might be a bit tough later on using something that I don't really want to use. So maybe we just go with Express or Fastify. I'm thinking um, micro polka. You know what, let's just go with express because why not? And um, yeah, I guess express should work, right? So I'm gonna npm install express. Hello, Bako, welcome to the stream. So I'm gonna install express and I'm just gonna copy this file and make our custom server. And um, I'm gonna write us custom routes that will serve the Monaco web services, uh, sorry, web workers, that should fix our problem. Uh, yes, the I'm just, you know, we need a server to uh, basically correctly serve the uh, web workers for Monaco, right? And um, I don't want to bother with like mapping Webpack or whatever. So I'm just going to create a custom server. And uh, we're just gonna go with Express because it's the easiest thing. And I don't really think we, you know, we need anything beyond Express itself for now. So we are just gonna go with that. I am gonna rewrite this uh, a bit. Come on, let's get this out. I'm just gonna rewrite this into a main async function because it's just slightly neater and easier to read. I'm gonna wait that. I'm gonna kill this stuff. And there we go. Okay, I'm gonna save this. Right. And in this case, we await this, we initialize the express, we don't really need um, those things, right? So we actually just want the handle. And we also want a special thing for the we want a special uh, routes for the Monaco thing, right? But we also need to change the let me think the npm scripts. And uh, that's basically should do it. So yes, node server. No, that's not what I want. This is what I want. And this is what I want as well. We can change that. And now I guess we need to start it and actually see what have what, what do we need to root? Because I hell if I remember what Monaco uses, uh, maybe there is wait a second Monaco. Uh, Monaco samples Monaco editor. And there we go. Okay, so what kind of is codes uh, features described here on the website? Mm -hmm. Install AMD version complete samples, maybe we just look at samples really. So there was like two or three web workers that it had browser script editor ESM webpack. I frame just AMD editor, maybe just something very simple. Um, okay, so it has some loader. Yeah, I guess we want the webpack version. Webpack config and okay. 
Okay, so, oh, so uh, maybe we could do that. So they essentially, instead of server, they just say there's a different entry points that should be included into the final bundle. So maybe we could just do that. That would be way cleaner than using Express actually. Um, okay, for now, let me just, uh, no, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna take, and since we already did all these changes, I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna stash that bit. Yes, I wanted to do stash. And if the um, if our trick with the uh, custom webpack config doesn't work out, we are going to um, revert that and just use Express and serve those uh, web workers uh, simply, right? So we are yes at uh, Monaco plugin is this thing and then gonna be add Monaco uh, web workers as entry points, right? So yep, what no entry points is what I want to say. And this is should not be autocompleted. So we need config. And it is what this is not what we need for now. So we need entry. Um, here's the question config entry. How does it look right now? Console log config entry, right? npm run dev. I am curious, how does it look right now? And uh, can we just assign more keys? Or is it like one file right now? Come on. Oh, I guess I should disable my um, real time protection. Otherwise, we're going to spend ages doing that. There we go. Okay, where is my function? It's a function. Okay. Um, is there a way next JS webpack entries? Is there a way to customize entries without too much trouble? Uh, merge config, uh, config entry then. Oh, okay. So you just want to do it like this. All right. That seems relatively simple. Uh, webpack return merge config entry. So entry is a function which we could basically just do, I guess this should work, right? Um, I guess it should work. Okay, let's see. Uh, so we got this entry thing and we could just copy those things. And I guess we also would have to know, I mean, the output doesn't really matter that much in our case, but we need this thing. Okay, here's the question. Will that actually work? Um, I mean, if that would work, that would be awesome. If not, then uh, yes, okay, obviously, that won't work. Original entry is not a function. What do you mean original entry is not a function? Oh, because it tries to call the function later on. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, do, 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 do. So I guess we need uh, we need to do this, right? So I guess let's say const original ent entry, let's just save it and be like, I uh, know that should be like this. And it's gonna be a original, come on, entry, right? No, God damn it. Original entry and uh, then we call then and then we modify it. And actually, why do I have return here? It's an arrow function, so I can just do this, right? And uh, since we are using ES6 already, we can actually simplify it a bit more and just do this. And I actually need that. Yep, that seems nearly correct. Now like this. Yeah, there we go. That should do it, I think. npm run dev and are we running? Does it actually solves our problem? Because if it does, this is going to be amazing. Okay, localhost 3000 is what we want. And uh, come on. Uh, each child already have unique key. Okay, there's some problems with the div. Let's check the console. We still have some. Okay, this is the problems default worker factory. Refuse to create it because it violates worker source known. Why is it violates the worker is the same domain? Why do you not work usage? Okay, so this is the worker. Yeah, refuse to create worker because it violates. Uh, am I missing something with a webpack config? Let's see. 
We have mode developments, we got the app, we got the workers, we got the outputs, and am I missing something? What is here? Monaco editor, yes, we did that. Get oh okay, so we need this thing, I guess, right? Um so this is our editor and let's see. So this is self Monaco environment. Uh right. Oh, because I'm doing this through yeah, okay. Okay, okay. Maybe no, okay, because we cannot really do that. So we can't really do anything better than this. Let's see, does it work? No, self is not defined. Okay, I guess we should try putting that into the server or like the client only version as well, right? Because we already care about that on the server side. So self Monaco environments, uh, is it self gonna be called in a browser? Okay, um, so refuse to create a worker what is this error so let's see okay refuse to create a worker let's try to google this error da, 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 from editor worker bundle js let's just do this um okay yes not because it violates the following policy worker source known okay um ignore break on worker csp how do we set csp worker source do we need a server anyway? Does it like want me to set the uh, header? A response set uh, worker self. So it looks like, is that like the header thing? Content, so what is the content security policy directive worker source? I've actually, this is the first time of me like hearing about that, but let's see, what is that? HTTP content security policy worker source directive specifies valid sources for worker, shared worker, and service worker. And this is a header. So basically we need a server that would allow us to specify the header. Why do you have to be like this? Okay, I, I mean, I guess we're going back to the server, right? So first of all, that does mean that we can actually... Oh boy, here's the question, is that... How do I, how do I, is there a way to work around this? So wait a second, next.js custom headers. I mean, I know that I can do custom server and then I can add custom headers, right? But how do I add custom header for resource response? There we go, and use custom server. Okay, <laughs> that was predictable. Um, <laughs> right, so I guess, doesn't make much sense then since we need custom headers for this stuff to work. Doesn't make sense to do this and to bundle it all with Webpack. We might as well, whoops, might as well just go back to the server. So kill all of that, don't save it. I guess I'll just revert all our changes. Um, you know what? I'll, I think I'll just start a terminal in the separate window. So I recently found out that you can pretty reliably run Linux applications within Windows VSL if you run the X server. So this is the Terminator terminal that works amazingly well under Windows, you know, like with everything ready and working. Okay, so we need to go into projects, bxjs, and we need jscraft. Right, and we need to reset everything, right? And we need to unstash, and we gotta, so we got our package, we got our server here, and now we need to serve those, um, where's the workers? So there is the worker bundle, label JSON, CSS. So there's one, two, three, four workers here, or I guess we can just copy them from the Webpack config, right? So this is our workers. Okay. Um, uh, how do I do that? You know what? Let's just do it in a stupid way. So uh, this is gonna be editor worker JS, right? We're gonna be have JSON worker JS, JS. I assume they are gonna be called JS, all of them. And uh, now we need to get the path utils, right? And actually 
construct the name or the pass to the folder because um, this is not correct, right? So actually want pass join dear name and then this stuff. Um, but this is not correct either. Uh, let me just do this real quick. Okay, so I do this and this and this, and then I'm just gonna do no, 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 no. That's not what I want. Let me just do it like this and close the quotes. Okay, so we actually should be first of all node modules, right? Slash Monaco editor, and now there's the question. So where's my terminal? Node modules Monaco editor. Okay, this is correct. Now min i guess is what we want because we don't really want sm right so in this case we're going to be using the min vs and there is going to be editor editor worker no there's no worker what okay i guess not min oh huh. now that's interesting what why where's does it have like workers in a different folder? Base, base, what is in the base? Base worker, worker main. That what we want? That is, that is quite, that, um, that is slightly confusing. Okay, let's see the examples. They had the, they had the different examples here, right? Webpack ESM and there's AMD Monarch required JS. Like required JS should have that, right? So required JS, editor main. I guess editor main actually requires everything else. Is that how it works? Oh, why does it have to be like this? Um, okay, here's the question. Node modules. Come on, let's control P Monaco. I cannot go into node modules like this. There was a, another shortcut to do that, but I don't remember it. I'm just gonna look for it manually, Monaco, Monaco editor, and uh, there is, okay, so in ESM, we indeed have that worker. But actually, if it's a web worker, then it should support imports already, I think. Is that the case? Uh, can I use? Why do I type can and it shows me Canada cannabis legalization news <laughs> worker. Um, so we got web workers and they are supported in all the browsers. And now I'm gonna duplicate this and we're gonna check imports, HTML imports, not HTML imports, JavaScript dynamic import, no. Modules via script tag. Uh, so this is type module, this is different. Import in, okay, wait a second. Import in a web worker. How to import, import worker global scope, import scripts. This is not it. So using web workers. I mean, it should work, right? It's, it should be already implemented, but I'm just, uh, I don't want, I mean, <laughs> It's like one hand, I know if I try, it's probably gonna work because I'm using latest Chrome, but on the other hand, I don't really wanna use a feature that is not implemented in, I, I guess like the modules are supported in all major browsers. I mean, we're not taking Internet Explorer that is not a browser anymore, but everything, okay, you know what, let's try. So basically imports and web workers are supported in all the major browsers, which means that theoretically, um, so it was, no, that's not, uh, no, 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 what? No, that's not what I'm pressing. There we go. So ESM, VS, yes. So VS, uh, where did it go? Why did you scroll so far? So we got editor and it's gonna be editor.worker.js, good. Uh, then we got JS, um, is it what, language? JSON, uh, JSON worker JS. Okay, so I guess I should actually put JS here because otherwise it won't resolve them properly because this is files. CSS worker dot JS, right? And then we got, I guess, HTML worker dot JS. Yep. And we got TypeScript uh, worker dot JS. Cool. Okay, so we got all that stuff done so theoretically it shouldn't matter it should actually just load them from the 
Uh, from the root, right? So now we should, whoops, that is too much. Let me unfold that back. Yep, nah, there we go. That's what I want. Uh, okay, so we got t -t 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 workers. Save that. And now we need to say what? We need to say, um, yeah, okay. Object, object, keys, workers, map, nope map so it's going to be key right and in our case i guess map doesn't make sense here we're going to be for each um so what we're going to do is we're going to say that server get and then it's going to be a root and then it's going to be key right is going to be request response and now how do i serve the static files from express static Header. So we need a static with a header. Da, 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 da. Don't care about that. That is super tiny. Let me make it a bit bigger. Rest set. Okay, so we need rest type, rest type. No, this is not what we want. Okay, I guess we can just look at the reference. Um file. Uh can you just say okay, first of all, let's put a header, right? So there is the C set headers below. This is what we want first. Uh, so express static, use static uh, options dot file set headers. Now this is not response object. Response header sense, not what we want. Append attachment cookie, also not what we want. Download and format. JSON, come on, there should be like header or something, right? Render, send. Okay, so we can do send, uh, and I guess we can just send the file. Send file. Okay, so this is what we want to do. And that is going to be does it take path? Okay, cool. So we actually can just be like workers key, right? So we send the worker. But prior to that, we need to set the headers uh hey kim um kim pin 3k uh thank you for your cheer this is really awesome all right uh headers i was looking for the header is it a set set yeah there we go so this is what we want we want to set what we want to set content type um what is the workers what is the correct web workers headers web worker headers I uh, guess is gonna be like okay so first of all we want this content security policy web worker source which is in our case is gonna be self likely I think uh, no um let me self I think this is the correct way of doing it and then content type is gonna be content okay where's content type uh, I guess not here Content uh, type. No, what am I mistyping? Type. There we go. And um, JSON text HTML. What's the JavaScript correct? <laughs> okay, you know what? I can just be just cheat a bit and go into the network tab over here, and just have a look at what the content type is over here, right? Application JavaScript. Right. This is what we want. Okay. So theoretically. If we do that and start a server, it should serve the web workers unless I'm um, unless I'm screwing something up, which might as well be the case. But uh, what? Node server. Uh, oh, right, because I forgot to start main app. Uh, whoops, there we go. Now it should work, right? Come on. Okay. Da, 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 da. Come on, bundle everything. We are all good. Did I install Express? I think I did. Uh, yes, it seems to be running. So server compiled. Right, so console here, reload. Unexpected usage. Okay, uh, worker none. Default worker factory. Uh, so this, why is it? So it seems to load the, th is it is it loaded by the bundler anyway? Hmm. I guess we have to specify that resolution uh, thing as uh, anyways, right? There was, was it in our editor, I think? Okay, I should, I should really, come on, come here. 
I should really do, whoops, that is the wrong button. So we need that Monaco ASM webpack and we need that resolution Monaco environment thing. And we need to run it only in the browser. And in our case, we're just gonna say, yes, you're gonna return this without any bundles, right? So this is what we want. Whoops, uh, that is too much. And uh, bundle, there we go. All right, cool. I think that should probably do the trick. Uh, no, it's still okay. Wait, so first of all, common services. Oh, it tries to use the relative imports. Uh, <laughs> why do you have to be like this? Okay, so it uses the relative imports, which means we cannot really use that, so we have to bundle it. Oh boy, okay, this is turning out to be a bit more complex than I wanted it to be. So this means we cannot actually serve the files directly, but we have to uh, change the webpack config like we did the first time, right? So, okay, uh, add Monaco plugin, and then uh, add web workers as entry points. So we have to, whoops, no. We have to patch the config anyway to add those workers as plugins, right? Because otherwise it just won't work. And uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. so we got const regional entry is gonna be config entry. And then we're gonna say config entry is gonna be a function that returns regional entry. And then does then, um, it was like entries and we need to return entries and then we just return this stuff right okay uh, da, da, da. there we go okay so that looks fine uh now the web pack will package them but we still have to serve them with our with our server because we need to patch the headers which means that here first of all we have to put those bundle bundle things back right uh but now we need to resolve those bundles to, I guess, dot next, yeah. So dot next dot whatever. Uh, dear name, I guess this is gonna be like dot next, just instead of all of that, which definitely makes it easier. Let me just highlight all of that dot next. And I think it's also dot worker dot uh, no, that's not what I want to select. I want to set. Nah, that's still not what I want to select. Uh, right. Okay. Yeah. There we go. We can do it like this. Dot worker. Dot bundle. Right. So this is what we want. I think that should do it. So let's first of all let's check if the bundles are actually appear in dot nextjs uh, folder, and if they do. Okay. So we got the worker. Those are. How are they not dot bundle? So this is definitely compiled workers. Okay, so I guess we can remove the dot bundle. God damn it. That is slightly inconsistent, but you know what? We can work with that. So I kill that. Which means we add dot next and then the workers. And this theoretically should allow us to load the workers. I think the headers should be correct now. We could probably also chain those, but um Okay, let's see. That, that's the wrong thing. F5 over here. Come in. And uh, because violates worker none. Okay, let's see. So where are, where's our request? To, there we go. Editor worker. Oh, right. Because I am, pff, ah, of course, I screwed up. So we don't need bundle here as well, right? Because we are rooting it ourselves and we need to kill that. Now if we reload this once again, uh, let's see, so what is a worker? T okay, editor worker actually seems to be loaded correctly. And TS worker is not found. Why is it not found? TS worker JS, uh, TS worker JS. Where's the TS worker? Oh, because it's not TS, it's actually TypeScript. Okay, that makes sense. 
Okay, did we solve it? Because if it did, that would be really great. It was relatively simple. And uh, if that now more compiles and actually works, we're gonna get a proper Monaco editor, which is the same as, yes, refused. Okay, we got speaker, wait, what? How are you now? But they are loaded and they're working. I guess it tries to do like the, the Monaco tries to do the same thing itself, which doesn't make a lot of sense. Default worker factory, where is this coming from? Okay, if type of global Monaco get worker function, get worker URL. Okay. Yes, new, but it's our, uh, okay, so, um, hmm. So yes, we defined what? We defined get worker URL, okay. It should return the URL and, but it does load the workers and the workers I think have correct headers. Okay, let's check the headers this time around. Okay, so we got the content type application JavaScript. Some workers, did I misspell that? Okay, let's see. Worker source self. So we got non safe eval unsafe. Is it because I did not add quotes in there? Is that what you want? So we need a server and we need, um, I guess we can change this to the tactics and this should be save it, restart. Maybe it just doesn't parse it correctly. So I have to like provide the um, actual quotes there. Otherwise it won't work. Okay, so let's see. And uh, do we have any errors? Come on, reload. Nope, still broken. Okay, so where is, no, I want to see requests, TypeScript worker. We got worker source self. Yes, that looks correct-ish, I guess. And then worker source, okay, violation cases. Hmm. First, the origin from which the protected document is being served. Well, that makes sense, right? So, uh, why do you not want to work? Hmm. Script source, Chrome 59 is higher, skips child source directive. That is still not what we want. Okay, so let's see. What are we missing? Content security. But it says that content security policy is none while it's actually this is not true right use a greater worker from localhost 3000 editor worker js but um the interesting thing is that it no longer actually it no longer first of all it no longer lags so i'm actually assuming it registered the workers let's see we got service workers come on from other, wait, is there really no service? From, what do you mean from other domains? Code sandbox, oh, okay, this is like from everything basically. So there is really no service workers? No. Really? Okay, so I guess, let me just, I, I mean, we don't really need cookies here as well because we don't use them for anything yet. Let's just reload. And yes, there are no service workers. So they are still, because it violates the following content security policy directive worker source none. But it definitely is served with content security policy worker source self, which doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, let's see. Uh, violates content, yes, let us try to Google that and see maybe, maybe, maybe I'm just doing something wrong. Problems with, uh, yes, problems with, I mean, I have problems with the different content security policy, but register successful, registration scope refused, registration successful, violates none, in my case, service worker, X content type, X, uh, KX frame options, we don't really use any frames here, right? Hmm, what is, does anyone in the chat knows what might be wrong here? Because this is literally the first time I encounter a problem with this kind. Uh, let's see, analysis worker. You should be able to fix this by changing worker source 
Does it want like the proper URL? Problem with you, is that you, is that why? Wait a second, is that why it happens? No, I have it disabled, so that should not, you know what, let me just try to start my development browser that doesn't have any plugins installed like adblock or whatever. No, what? no, this is not what I want, come on. Um, there we go, okay. Maybe it is one of the plugins messing with it. Does it work now? It actually, okay. Oh no, that was one of the browser extensions screwing with my coding, oh no. I should have known better. I should have known better and ran everything in the development environment. Okay, so this actually fixed it, cool. I, I guess uh, we can, you know what, okay, I'm gonna just keeping the server running over here and I'm just gonna use this to actually commit everything. That was, okay, I should have, should have known better. Right, um, git diff, let's see. So we added this thing, this looks fine. This is the package JSON changes. Yeah, okay, so. Oh yeah, you know what we can do as well? We can take our readme file and we can uh, fix this, right? So git commit fix Monaco service workers. So it actually might have been that the, uh, what's, oh no, GPG sign, oh man, I can. I forgot how I fixed that last time. So I'm gonna, how did I fix it last time? Oh boy, okay, I completely forgot how I fixed it. I had that problem already on the last stream as well and I found the solution to it, but I forgot what it was. Uh, regional config, no, that is not the thing. Right, let's troubleshoot my issues with the command line now because why not? Oh yeah, there, I remember now, there was this thing with um, GPG failed to sign Keybase uh, VSL. That was the problem, it didn't like, yes, IOCTL device, but I thought I've added this to my, didn't I add this to my Z shell config actually? Um, wait a second. Z shell RC and uh, let me see. So we got this. Okay, really? I, okay, did it, was it in bash RC? I remember that I thought about I should, uh, okay, there we go, there it is actually, but it doesn't really work. Interesting. Um, Maybe Bash RC, you know what? I'm just gonna add this to Z Shell RC as well because why not? And, uh, uh, well, no, uh, I want to go to the very end and then paste it here and save that. And then we can paste it one more time, just execute it and be like, okay, commit, fix workers. There we go, okay. I think, yep, there, we go. okay, cool, fine. <laughs> it works now, good. Right, so we fixed the workers. They are now working, so we're gonna close this thing. Uh, now we can move the logic to the workers to actually free up the main thread, right? And uh, maybe also fix that error that we have that says, hey, there should be a key for each prop on the home page method. So and kill that, kill that, kill that, kill that. And what exactly are we rendering here in a loop? This is what we're rendering in a loop. I'm just gonna do a very stupid thing that is not exactly good, but for now that's gonna be fine. I'm just gonna say test underscore i, which is probably, it's okay, it works for now, right? So we should no longer get that key error. And there is expected HTML to contain matching div, uh, where, did I forgot to close a div somewhere? There's a div, there's a div. Okay, I guess. I guess I forgot about it somewhere. Um, but you know what, for now, is there origin apply? So that doesn't, doesn't seem like, I, I don't know where it comes from. So I'm just gonna ignore it for now. I mean, it's a warning, so it's fine. Cool, so we did that. Now let's move our logic. Uh, you know what, let's maybe commit that. Let's try to follow proper development techniques and commit X keys warning uh, in tests rendering and commit frequent and commit small, you know, not do it like 
like <laughs> like I did before and commit everything in one terribly large commit that is incomprehensible. Okay, uh, right. So we we want to move um, everything to the our eval worker, right? So first of all, uh, t -t 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 -t, let me think. Where is actually my logic is over here. So here's the question. Can I, can I actually use imports in the worker? Is that a thing? Now I am curious. So if I say, if we import parser, like if I do this, would it work? Uh, but that's obviously is not gonna work. So we actually need unpackage. So we need unpackage. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, just, just go the hell away. Uh, so we need unpackage and we need duplicate. We want a Babel parser, right? So this is what we want. But we also want it as an ES6 module. And I believe they had a module. There we go. So question mark module is what we want. Um, and this means we just do this. Okay, can I find index.js? Huh? That, now that's interesting. Okay, lib index.js and this is now ES5. Can I just do module here? Will that work? That still seems to give me the compile thing with exports. Mm. Mm. So, okay, wait a second. Uh, there should be, there really no ES6 version of that. Like this is already compiled version. Even better, but yeah, this is also the command line typings. Uh, this is TypeScript. Okay, huh. I guess they don't really, okay, wait a second. I don't Babel parser ESM, right? So is there an ESM version of it published somewhere? Babel minify, Babel parser. I guess not. Hmm. That is unfortunate. Expands bare imports uh, blah, 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 into package URLs. This is a very experimental feature. Uh, I mean, we can try to just um, parser import it like this. So if if I just do import scripts, right, and do it like this. Here's the question, is that gonna work? Um, that is not what I want. I want this browser now. Okay, so if we reload that we should have our where are my service workers? Did I remove the service worker last time? Because I don't remember if I ever registered that. I think I did remove that, right? Um, <laughs> Hell, if I remember, I think I did remove it in the end, right? Yeah, because I'm not no longer using the comlink uh, thingy. Okay, so let me try to remember how to use comlink. So we need to re re add the service worker. Okay, there we go. So this is what we do. And I guess we are gonna re import it over here. Comlink proxy and is gonna be static eval worker, right? Okay, and then not that browser, that browser. And what do you not like? Comlink is not defined. Oh yeah, right. Okay, of course. Import comlink from comlink. And what do you not like? Unexpected token exports. Where? What are you talking about? EJS. Oh, right, because I think there was like the comlink UMD, right? This is what we want. Comlink. This is what we want. Okay, I remember that now. Um, message port is not defined, and we also needed to only do that in the browser bit, which means that it. Mm -hmm. Ah, oh, this is slightly annoying. Like the server side rendering can be a bit of a pain in the ass. 
So I guess, yeah, I guess we will add the constructor here. Add props, we're gonna call super props and we're gonna say, okay, if we are running in the process browser, um, we are gonna say that this eval worker, gonna be new worker, right? And I guess we should require it also in the browser. So const comlink equals require. Okay, there we go. I think that should do it. Okay, reference exports is not defined. Uh, index three. Okay, so it tries to import that script, but it doesn't work because it requires um Oh boy, what it was what was the name of it? The um, Node.js modules. Um Workerize loader. Automatically move a module into web worker. Uh do, 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 worker. Yeah, but that's a web pack, so basically you have to set up a web pack thing and I don't I don't know if I wanna do that. I mean that probably might be a good idea to do that, but import loader, so this is our worker. Like my main problem right now is that I guess I have to bundle my worker as well. I would prefer using comlink actually because it, it allows you to invoke the functions. I know that's workerize allowed to do that as well. Workerize, worker. Okay, so it also allows to do that as well. I mean, it's more or less the same basically. I think it might actually be so the workerize is from develop it and comlink I'm guessing is from him as well. No, not really. Okay, that's a different authors also from Google, but whatever, you know what, let's just roll with comlink. I think it works fine and no need to set up additional, um, you know, webpack stuff, at least for now, we'll see you know, if that's not sufficient. We might as well switch to the, to the, blah, 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 what do you, oh, um, okay. For, first of all, next, uh, what? No, next eval worker. No, we actually have, Let's call it eval.worker is what I'm gonna do. And now we need to actually set up. So first of all, I guess we have to move the things a bit. So let's just create workers folder, throw the worker in there, kill the static. We don't really need it anymore. Uh, rename that to be eval.worker. So what we need now is actually Da, 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 ta. Uh, so we import this so we can import I mean I guess we can import comlink from comlink now right since we are going to be compiling that with um, with webpack anyway uh, and now we actually want to compile that which means we are going to say uh, eval worker so, and this is gonna be work workers. I guess it has to be relative eval worker JS, right? So we have this worker. And in theory, if I restart this now, we should see the whoops, we should see. Come on, where's my. It probably would be faster to just type that, but I am too. I am too lazy to type it since it's faster to just scroll up until I find the needed command. <laughs> this is how my brain works. I don't, don't, don't ask. Okay, so we got our eval worker over here. Um, there was some errors there. All oh, right, because I am trying to import again the wrong thing. UMD com link, right? Uh, require function is used in which way you cannot be statically extracted. That is interesting. Okay, so wait a second. Can you not build an eval worker? Huh. Okay, I guess we have to stick to the old way of doing it. That is interesting. So it cannot be imported properly in the web worker. But that should compile, right? Critical dependency requires is used. Eh? Notes. Oh, it still warns me about that, but. He will, oh, I did I forgot to specify JS. Oh, I guess, okay. <laughs> I think I know what the problem is. Uh, let me, yeah. 
So we want this. We don't need that. UMD. Um, I get, can I just do this? Will that work? No, it won't. Okay, so it wants actual full path, comlink. I probably forgot to specify um eval worker js oh okay i guess this is what i want to do right that is probably gonna assign the extension correctly come on xjs eval worker no it is not assigning anything now that is interesting wait a second here's the question are those workers that are now in the static folder actually come from my webpack or are they copied there because of the of the compilation of the monaco is it monaco adding them itself there so yeah okay so i don't actually have to manually map them so i can kill all of that which makes it way easier we still need that mapping because we are adding our own custom worker. So I guess adding .js will actually make it properly named, right? Okay, there we go. So now we have our eval worker. Now this should import eval worker JS, right? Okay, so let's refresh. Uh, 404 not found, right? I forgot to add it to, so now we need to bind it in our server um eval worker js and it's gonna be path join dear name that feels very hacky but you know as long as it works basically i think that's fine for now this is what we want we start i have some flies here okay um right so there we go i think right now that should start working right Okay, window is not defined, eval worker. Um, why are you looking for window? Window and push eval worker JS. What is, what is you even trying to do? Does it, wait a second, did it? Okay, here's the question. Get, am I importing the wrong thing in the worker? Comlink, comlink, comlink. No, I am importing the right thing, right? So I guess maybe let's just go with import scripts for now. Copy this. And if I just kill that and I'll be like, okay, this should work theoretically. Like this worked last time, right? So it should be window is not defined. Still tries to, is it because of the webpack bundler? Um, okay, webpack bundle web worker. I guess you need specific worker loader um how to handle web worker standard syntax with webpack worker yeah i did that but it still uh you forgot you were cooking pasta that's a bad thing to forget yes webpack is adding it requires shim this is exactly the problem the question is how to disable that uh, an interesting approach on how to inline a worker without using any webpack browser if I plug in. This is not what we want. Worker file transform require new worker bundle. Require worker. <laughs> how do I disable? How do I say like do not require that plugin? Is that even an option? Webpack web worker example. There we go. That seems nice, worker loader. So they use worker loader and this output and this hash worker. Okay, I guess does that worker loader output, uh, worker loader thing actually is what we want. Because if it is what we want, then <laughs> loader options, plugins, webpack, okay. Your own sorter. Hmm. Common example JS. Or can I just no, but that that's basically requires it, right? Okay, this is not what we want. There has to be bundle web worker require shim. 
um, bundling less to do with that back targeting web worker less browser this target web this is all not required in my worker yes okay so he what how does the config look rules you loader babel loader uh lodash this is just a babel loader hmm <laughs> i mean one option could be just to fake the require workerize is based on worker loader but might as well use workerize then okay um workerize where was it workerize uh, there we go yeah maybe that's really an easier option because no okay workerize is not there's the workerize loader is what we want right this is the old thing okay so this might be then the way to go because comlink seems to require a lot of manual setup which is not what we want to do okay so we just have this for now right and then in next config we do what we okay first of all we install the workrise loader all right so we did that now we need to do what we need to workrise loader worker so we can just import it as a normal module which is nice and then we just export things in there which is also convenient so we just say export defaults yeah yeah i mean i guess we don't even need class here anymore right export um const eval codes now we got the code and we got eval and that's actually all we want for now right and i guess let's try exporting like export const hello world just to test that it actually works um const log hello world world from worker right and now do we need anything special here i guess we don't really need anything special we just need this right so in our we no longer need that which is nice we no longer need which means we can drop the whole entries thing right because this is literally the only thing we need this is getting better actually way better than before i like it a lot more which means that in this case um we just we basically i think we should be able to do it on server side as well okay so workerize loader that is going to be workers um it's actually workers and eval worker js right this is what we want uh, what no um oh right because we have to call something so i'm gonna say worker hello what was it uh hello world right hello world console log done with worker just to make sure that all of that works, right? Um, npm run dev, so that should start our app. You need to create the worker first. Do I? Okay, let's see. Uh, workerize. This is workerize loader. Yes. Um. Ta -da 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 -da. Oh, okay. So you need to create an instance. Okay. Thank you. That would have. Um, okay, let's rename that to eval worker and then we basically do this, right? Yep, okay, so that should work. Add the loader to webpack config. Uh, did I not do that? I think I did not do that, right? And options inline usage, table loader. Webpack, okay, so webpack config loader. Um, that, but do you need to add it if you specify it explicitly? I don't uh, um, uh, pages index of Vader. Oh, right, I forgot the async thing. I mean, actually, we don't need a sync here. This is what we want Pages index of eight is reserved word and worker is not defined. Okay, so we do have to do it on the 
we do have to do it on the server side only or oh, sorry on the client side only so we have to if process browser again a bit of browser a bit of that stuff um const i guess i'm just gonna use but no require i use that and okay uh done with worker and where is my console log where is my worker actually hmm i guess it is not loaded um loader to okay maybe maybe you really need to add the web a worker is not a service worker um but i mean it's oh yeah light uh, that's why <laughs> I'm looking in the worker tabs and I'm like, why is it not in the service worker? You are completely correct. It is not a service worker, so it would not be here. Thank you. I am being unreasonable today. Okay, but it should it should be here while I don't see it. And it should also log the hello world, right? Which doesn't, what is this? Worker not found. Oh, this is our... So it, it is not found, but I think it is there. Yeah, okay. So why doesn't it serve the file? Like we, we did write the server to serve everything, right? Get everything else, handle request response. I don't want to write this. Oh, come on. Oh, okay, how do we work around that? Oh, wait. Here's what I'm, so we don't actually need a server here, right? I think, I think we can kill the server. And if I'm thinking right, then actually all we want is to say this, right? And then we can just use the default Next.js server and that should work. Um, let me, Okay, come on, I said control C and then then I'm just overthinking it and then it should simplify everything in like 25 times. Next. And then next star. Um, well, I'm forgetting how do you do that properly. Next JS. Yes. What was it? Next for development, the next server, next start for everything else. Come on. Da, da, da. Next start, okay. Uh, start this is what we want so could be a problem the way in the, yeah the next yes definitely might be interfering but let's check it out so if we don't have to drag a server in first of all that would be great uh oh it's underscore next dot not dot next uh let me think so that stuff underscore next right Okay, unexpected usage, Monaco editor, TS worker not found. So it's not TS worker, I think it is a TypeScript worker, right? TypeScript. Okay, so that actually works. The only problem is editor worker not found. Why is it not found? Editor worker JS. It seems to be there, so why are you not serving it? Static chunks, so, okay, I guess. Hmm. Oh boy, okay, next yes sometimes can be a bit of a pain in the ass, and I don't know if we wanna fight with it or just use like something like create react app or a static server. Um. I'm a thing, what would be faster? Would it be faster to keep trying to figure this out or just switch to create React app? Uh, yeah, okay, let's see, where is my terminal? Yep, yeah, no, 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 okay, control C, Q, get status, get diff. So what did we change here? We, yeah, I guess, you know what? I guess I'm gonna reset those changes and we are gonna remove static again we are gonna npm install minus d workerize loader but we do 
Uh, yeah, but I mean, we could eject right away, right? Because we do want the Webpack config anyway. We could probably also set up a project with just Webpack because I mean, or maybe parcel. Maybe the parcel project would be nice. Here's the question. Is there um, Monaco? Because I mean, now we sort of have the requirements a bit more defined, right? Rather than when we started. We actually know that the next yes might not be the best fit for this case. Uh, integrate ESM version and oh no, wait, where is the examples? Complete sample. So maybe we just take this ESM parcel. Like I really like how simple the parcel is. So maybe we just do that. That might be the good option. You know what? Let's go with parcel. So we, we're going to spend one more live stream changing the whole thing to parcel. But I think in the long run, this is going to save us a lot of time. So first of all, okay, I'm going to, we're going to keep the components. We are going to, let me think. So we no longer, let's see, we kill the next, right? We, we set everything. We remove workers. Okay, we remove node modules. We no longer need next config and server config and server itself. Right? So now we have package, which means so we need this, we don't need this. PM, RM, um, so we don't need, whoa, okay. It's site, neck, uh, site, next CSS. So we don't need that, right? We no longer need comlink. Here's the question, is there a, can you use Webpack plugins with parcel or do we need to use, um, okay, let's see, parcel web worker. Web worker support. Closing in favor. Uh, no web worker. Okay, so you can. It actually resolves it already. Okay, neat. <laughs> cool. So we don't even need any additional packages. It's nice. Okay, so um, let's continue. npm rem com link. Let's see how much simpler it's gonna be with the parcel. And we don't need React Monaco editor as well, right? NPM RM paste. So we don't need that. Why is comlink.js still here? NPM RM and then paste com. Did I remove? Oh yeah, I did not write comlink JS. Okay, that explains it. And we don't need Express, which is also making a lot. NPM RM. Uh, but parcel would mean no webpack loaders. Yeah, I don't mind. I mean, parcel has a large enough ecosystem to basically skip requiring any loaders at all, right? Because the parcel sort of build around this idea that you should not need uh, too much additional things. So it has everything integrated. And I think that works for us. NPM install parcel is what we want. And in our case, um, I'm gonna say parcel index HTML, right? So we're gonna change this a bit. I'm gonna say parcel, and uh, that was probably, did it save? Okay, cool. So we got the parcel now and then for production is going to be parcel hell if I remember. Parcel, uh, no parcel. There we go. Parcel JS. Yes, let us do getting started again. Um, it was let me make it slightly bigger. Parcel watch, I guess we should no, I mean, you don't need parcel watch, right? So we need production and it was parcel build and then parcel did not just you serve it yourself, right? With statically, basically. So we can just uh, do parcel index here for this. Okay, so now we need that index HTML. Um, is there like HTML snippet? HTML, no. Well, I gotta be a full snippet, right? Simple HTML starting point. There we go. That's what I want. 
Okay, uh, JS Craft. I will regret this naming for the end of the days. Okay, um, gonna rename this to source and which means this is gonna be renamed into home and we're gonna create index.js and our index.js, so there is a React example somewhere. A little entry files, we don't need that. Where is the React example? Merman's recipes. Yes, this is exactly what we want. React, compat, parcel index. Wait, where is my, oh, come on. I want, I just want to copy something. Parcel react starter. Uh, parcel react example. Yes, thank you very much. I, because I never remember anything. Uh, we don't care about, I guess let's just leave it there. Why not? So we got our app and in our case, this is gonna be home. Right. And we don't need that. We don't need that. We just need to import home from home. Again, get element by ID. And then we just say div ID root. And I think that should work. Yeah, start. I think the uh, okay, no such file directory main CSS. All right, because we don't need CSS for now. Okay, uh, one, two, three is what we want. Uh, one, two, three, four, right? Okay, and there is some errors. So we oh, because right, source index.js is what we want. There is a state equal. So it's how do you use parcel with um, class properties, class property, right? Experimental scope hosting. Nee, 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 this is not what I want. This is parcel and parcel build outsource here. Experimental scope hosting, Babel RC. Is that like a Babel plugin? Oh, I think right. We needed the Babel plugin for Babel um, property, right? Oh boy, uh, class property is what I want. Yep, there we go. So we want that, uh, which means we stop this npm install minus d. Actually, it should not be minus d, right? Just copied you, come on. There we go. Okay, so that should fix it. I believe it should pick it up on its own. We don't even have to configure anything. No, we actually do. Class properties isn't currently enabled. Um, I guess we do need Babel RC, okay. To, to, to Babel RC, and then we just do this, right? And then we restart the building, and that should now pick up the plugin. And theoretically, it should work. Okay, cool. Why is it install React Monaco editor? Did I use it somewhere? I don't, oh yeah, I used the React Monaco editor, okay. So I guess in this case, we actually don't need half of this code, but okay, let's first see that it actually, uh, outputs React is not defined. Okay, I guess I did not define React in some places. So now we have to fix the code because uh, Next.js allows too much freedom basically in injecting React into scope and stuff like this. We import React from React. Uh, we got, okay, we don't need that anymore. We need to import React from React here, right? And then we need to import Monaco from React Monaco editor, which means we no longer need this stuff. 
which means we no longer need the constructor, which would make our code a lot cleaner. And we don't no longer need this stuff. And okay, so let's see. React is not defined, so I guess we missed. Okay, this is probably where we need React as well. Yep. Import React from React. Uncode target container is not a DOM element. Okay, I am probably injecting it into a wrong thing. Uh, home get element by ID root. No, that should be fine, right? So we got ID root, it's a div. So why, what, what are you? React DOM development, React DOM render, home, yeah. So what are you not liking? Oh, I guess because it's a bad idea to inject script at the top, right? There we go. Yeah. And it works, almost, kinda. Receive true for non boolean attribute JSX if you want the DOM JSX true. What? what? Home page dev style. Uh, did I use some. Okay, we <laughs> now we have to clean up the Next.js code a bit. So we are. This looks fine. This looks like your typical component. This looks fine. There we go. We got the style JSX. So I guess we can just. Do style that work? Okay, so now you must define Monaco gets okay. So now we have to take the Monaco thing, Monaco editor. Oh, I had I already had it. Oops, I already had it open somewhere, right? We had it here. Okay, so we got Monaco and parcel, and we got index, which basically does almost nothing, and then we got source which imports Monaco ASM. So it actually imports the Monaco ASM thing. And okay, so they define this thing anyway. Okay, cool. So we can uh, do that in editor and define it over here, right? And uh, theoretically, Are we are we running now? So there is a lot of warnings I see. Would not load existing source map. I mean, I don't care much about the source map. So why are you not loading? Okay, let me kill you and restart you just in case. TypeScript services could not load existing source maps or over running. Why does it not load? Okay, so you literally return the worker that is constructed. And then parcel handles everything else and uh, it doesn't seem to load at all. It just feels a bit weird. Building. Oh, there we go. So it just took a while. All right, cool. We got 404 for something. I'm not sure what is that, but um, I think we are working, right? Yep. So everything works now. Cool. So let us commit that. That actually made our codes way simpler. So first of all, git, uh, no, it's echo dot cache uh, into git ignore, right? Echo dist into git ignore. Okay. Um, I guess I'm going to use the full window to actually see what the hell is going on. Git adds commit switch from the uh, switch from Next.js to parcel to basic parcel setup. Okay. Sign this and we're good. Right. So we did that once again. Uh, the web worker is now working. So we want to move our logic into the worker. Uh, into the worker that I don't know if the style the style seems to be actually working right okay so it's good fine we're fine we're fine we're, we're rolling okay um, mm -hmm. move the logic into the worker 
from next to parcel um wasn't from webpack to parcel. i mean it's kind of next with webpack but the main problem was with the next and server-side rendering because there was a lot of related issues that prevented out us from uh, doing certain things so this is now way simpler and what we actually want to do is i uh, guess you know what i guess i'm gonna move this here i'm gonna move components here as well we're gonna rewrite the path a bit um yes yeah, so this this is what we want to do just gonna npm start it here and keep it open all times because why not cannot open directory oh i guess that would screw up the yeah okay this is not oh whoops this is not particularly nice pathing but um whatever that works you know as long as it works i don't really care because it's going to be auto bundled so okay cool still running nope not running anymore um so what what am i doing wrong so this seems to be correct this seems to be fine so why are you why did it stop working all of a sudden so we import home right home imports missions and mission one and editor from components that seems to be fine mission one seems to be okay right so nothing terrible here this has workers that are two levels up which means here node modules yeah so that should work fine why are you not compiling correctly uh, cache invalidation or something i am judging by the time it takes hey alex uh welcome to the stream yeah thank you very much for following my work and supporting it that is really cool all right there we go <laughs> this thing works now okay so now let's see um let me think a bit so oh, that is not what i want okay so we got the monaco working now let's see parser parcel worker there is parcel js web worker right so there should be there probably okay then we got some parser plugins for that um here's the question if i just go to a parcel website parcel js right they i remember they had the plugin section somewhere so plugins there we go and uh, what do we have here using plugins uh is there even a github the right play to discuss blah 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 you don't have a list of plugins for real okay well let's go to npm parcel plugin i guess that should do the trick right parcel plug yeah there we go there is plenty of plugins uh worker is what we are interested in uh service worker workbox uh inline worker that might be what we are looking for um add support for inlining of web workers but i mean if okay so import my worker in its post message hey this is still not quite what we want, right? So I guess there was, I guess, comlink. <laughs> Here we go back to comlink, because why not? I mean, since it bundles the workers automatically now, I think that should work way better. So let's give it a shot. Let's just try it. Okay. Um, npm install comlink.js, right? And then uh, we create, we have the worker here. We're gonna rename that to workers. Uh, throw it into source. We're gonna rename that to eval. I guess eval.worker because it's nicer convention. Import comlink from comlink.js. Okay, we did that. Uh, yeah, I mean, let's try comlink. I think that should work just fine. <clears throat> All right, and now uh, we need to import it somewhere. I guess home would make sense for now. So we import comlink 
from comlink.js. There is a ton of warnings and we probably should figure them out at some point. Okay, so I guess let's make it global for now. So eval worker, comlink proxy, new worker, and it's gonna be workers, eval worker JS, right? And uh, let's make a construct and it already crashed. Okay, so what do you not like now? Ooh, there's a JS stack trace. Okay, that is interesting. Did we manage to break the parcel? <laughs> Or is it just the cache issue and it was confused about the new module that I installed without restarting it? Yeah, that might be the case. And seeing the V8, yeah, V8 stack traces is quite scary. Okay, that seems to be actually working fine. Okay, let's, let's just write the code for now. Super props and in the constructor, we're just gonna say eval worker hello world uh, which i'm gonna add in a second right uh, whoops that is too much okay and yep so that definitely was the confusion about hello world there we go save that save this okay Proxy of undefined. What do you mean proxy of undefined? Comlink. Uh, oh, right. Um, I am again importing the wrong thing here, right? And it's going to be umd comlink.js. And now, nope. Can I read proxy of undefined? What are you talking about? Home.js did, um, wait, did it install the comlink? It did install the comlink, right? Yes. And we have the comlink here now in, are you there? Color comlink.js. Okay, so it is there. Um, What do you not like? Comlink, yeah, proxy of undefined. What do you mean of undefined? Console log comlink. Is it empty or something? Comlink undefined. Now, that is interesting. Okay, so we rebuilt. And Comlink is undefined for whatever reason. It's very interesting. So if we do it this way, you import just like this. Can I read property proxy of undefined? Okay, there is obviously some workerize. Let's try workerize maybe. Does workerize only works on strings? Because this is not quite how I would want to write it. Um, <laughs> okay. There's the comlink, there's workrise, and maybe, I don't know, simplify web workers. I remember there was other libraries, but uh, simple web worker, processor, comlink is, yeah, but theoretically parcel should handle ES6, right? So because it's it's not a big problem for it. I wonder why that actually happens. Eval worker is not defined. Comlink, I mean, the problem I have is that comlink is not defined. The eval worker is for whatever. Why? Okay, so now this actually loads and works. For, there's still some JavaScript thing from editor that is not. What is it trying to import? UMD, yeah, I mean, uh, UMD, do you think it's just a mismatch of, I mean, okay, we can, we can try using require, but theoretically that shouldn't matter because my guess is that it resolves to defaults considering how they build it. Oh, okay, you were actually correct. Import comlink from, oh, yeah, do they export the, 
Um, do they export it as a? Let's see. Does that work? Nope. That is still undefined. Maybe like this cat. What's up? What are you doing? Um. Oh, right. I'm sorry. <laughs> that is. Okay, so you just do import everything as comlink and then it works. Okay, that makes sense. So I guess they um, they do it this way. Okay, which means that we should now be able to do this, right? Okay, so we got that and can I read property apply of undefined. What do you mean apply of undefined? Object apply, where is this even coming from? Now this is confusing. What do you apply that args construct? Endpoint does not have all of the ads remove. Why, where is this coming? Expose, oh, it's an expose function. And uh, am I calling it on the wrong thing here or something? Eval worker self. Is self thing correct? Okay, where's the com link again? We're, we're almost there. We're all, we almost have this. Just one tiny thing left. So got the com link. We got the class expose class self. Uh, blah blah blah. Is six proxy polyfill. Com link tdn proxy expose. Here's the thing, they don't really import the com link in the war in the worker itself, right? So it, can I just do that? Would that actually work? Just feels a bit weird. They, okay, so no, they don't really inject it. So which means that uh, theoretically we can, yeah, okay. So it actually even suggests that we can do this expose. And I guess in this case, we could just say um, proxy, right? And uh, we do that. Okay, now the question is, what does it not like? Fly of undefined, comlink JS object deserialize. <laughs> okay, maybe we can do a break on, how do you do that? I already forgot, uh, there we go. Pause on exceptions, reload. Here's our exception. Yes, apply of undefined, so we can step out of current function. Web worker on message callback. Uh, that is actually not what I wanted to do. Let's try that again. So we got our object. This is what we have. Where did that come from? And there we go. There's we got the target. Target is not defined. Target, what? How is the target not defined? Um, okay. Here's the question. What does it not like? Am I just using it in the correctly? So we got the class, right? I got the class here. I mean, yeah, well, you know what? Let's just, let's just try this. My class like this is exact example. If that doesn't work, then we know there's something totally wrong. Okay, so there is definitely something broken here. Now the question is what and what is the reason? Um, da -da -da, okay, parcel JS comlink. Maybe some already had that issue. Parcel parcel comlink. No, not really. Okay. Oh dear, um, await new class. Oh, wait, am I just calling it incorrectly? Am I just being an idiot all this time? That's, that's how it usually happens. So we proxy this thing, right? It's gonna be the class name. Then we just need to say const instance await new eval worker, right? And then we just say instance Hello world, this is what we needed to do actually, uh, right? And uh, let's just do it like this, sync, 
and we're just gonna call this test here okay is that that was the problem maybe <laughs> just overthinking the whole thing uh regenerator runtime is not defined why are you using regenerator runtime table preset latest two versions the regenerator plugin required because it defined last two versions so how do i add it table polyfill oh dear okay uh, parcel oh okay so it basically always transforms async functions into the regenerator using regenerator runtime how do i tell it not to do that transform runtime i mean we could use the plugin but at this point i get yeah i guess let's just use the plugin why not but i want to include the whole babel runtime like everything supports async await right now perhaps runtime should be default no that sounds like a bad idea uh parcel disable regenerator runtime no not automatic babel compilation i just want to disable generator runtime i just want my native async await uh babel rc target oh can i just say it would be like okay presets so if i if i tell it to essentially target only the latest browser it should stop compiling the es6 right at least that's that's how i assume it it should work but we're gonna see come on yeah like there's already a lot of code but i guess you know dragging in the whole monaco editor is pretty heavy kind of weird that if you restart it, it takes less time than you know from just recompiling using cache which i guess is just something goes a bit wrong if you change the babel config come on Okay, there we go with the packaging stage. Okay, 40 seconds, I mean, not too terrible. And hey, it's actually working. Nice, so we, we managed to make that work. That is great. Um, now, um, what we want is, so we got the evil worker, we can use it from here, that is fine which means we can also instantiate it outside so like be like uh, yes let's call it eval worker uh, whoops that is not what i want to press eval worker instance we no longer need that uh here is the question so basically we want to move the heavy lifting to the uh from our mission code right so this is parse code for value I guess we would basically want to have a set of utilities that do the heavy lifting for us. Did I remove something that is should have not been removed? Oh, right. God damn it. Um, right. How do I do that properly? Da, da, da. You cannot do top level weight. So I guess we have to uh, constructor. I guess we have to do it anyway like here yeah i mean just setting it to the latest version makes sense right because you wouldn't have to compile like 90 percent of the things that you typically compile this init worker okay let's do a sync init worker so we're going to initialize that worker over here and say okay this eval worker instance is going to be a wait new worker instance right so this should work 
And now, uh, okay, so first of all, let's use the solution suggested by the one of you guys last time to actually evaluate the code and get the evaluation thing, which I think is a very nice solution and I quite like it. So we're just gonna uh, get that. So enumerate, uh, I apparently I cannot spell enum existing keys, existing keys. Um, to, 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 okay, so we eval code, right? I guess we should eval with the result, and then we're just gonna send result across the other things, and then get new keys. Uh, to, 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 to. So let's see. Um, context. So we get keys from self. We filter that not. We reduce accumulator key self key. Why is reduce? Oh, because we yeah, because we use object keys. Okay, that makes total sense. And uh, we're going to return result and context, right? Okay, so we did that. And now theoretically, okay, so first of all, we need to give that worker to the uh, Okay, first of all, we can now kill this, I guess I can actually do this thanks to I guess code from here thanks to F W A I N B. How do you read your username? F Vamb? Like Okay, I'm I'm just probably being a terrible person right now, but if you can explain to me how to read your username, I'm try to, I'll try to be better. Okay, um, so we did that now. Okay, we don't need that. We eval in the web worker can also be killed. Use AST, we can kill that. Move logic to the main thread. Okay, um, we actually can remove to do's from here for now because we're gonna close them all today, which is very nice. And in our case, I guess like we could use preview as well for that. So re eval. Okay, so basically we want to pass our worker to the preview. Eval worker is going to be this eval worker instance. And we are going to pass it to the um, eval worker to the tests, I guess, right? Because the testing. Uh, test function might actually want to utilize it to run the tests in the worker. Okay, um, so we got that, we got that. I'm saying, is that the old error or the new error? I'm confused right now, okay, whatever. So preview, which means that here we now have this props, um, this props eval worker. Uh, he might be in this. I think he is in Discord. Yes, just uses a different username. As far as far as I remember, I mean, again, I might be confused. There is now too many people, and it's really hard to track all you guys. But I'm trying my best. Okay. Anyway, so we got the evil worker, and we can call. So let me think. Um. I mean, one way would be to use get derived state. Uh, no, derive. What is it? Uh, static. Get. Uh, oh God, I don't know if I remember the name of that function. Derive state from props is what I want, and uh, yes, we do need that. Get derived state from props is what we want, and it takes two arguments. One of which is. Da, da, da. Come on, where is it? Uh, props and state. And it should be a sync static. And then we just say await results. We had um, eval codes. This props code, right? Uh, no. 
code. I guess we could wait. So basically we have to only do that once in the in here and then we can just pass the result into the components, right? Because there's no actual reason to do it that many times, which doesn't really make sense. Okay, so we got the code change, which means we can just yeah, that would be cleaner than this. Okay, we no longer need this parse code. Node value. Um, this is what I want to do. We can kill this, right? So preview is going to be super dumb now, which is very clean. Okay, but that means that we have to do const uh, eval results await this eval worker instance um let me think eval code eval code new value right now do this set state uh user code eval and we're gonna say eval result and then here instead of so first of all we don't need to pass the worker anymore we do need to give it no i guess we don't actually want to give it to the test functions too and it's going to be user code eval right i think oh yeah and it should be asynchronous obviously i think that should work okay so we got uh, nothing we got nothing because i am probably so log eval result come on sh no come on okay so please show me what actually happens when you evaluate eh, nothing happens okay oh right because it is it's going to be json right so we actually want to do at least for now json stringify this to actually see what the hell happens Okay, two, context is empty. A result is undefined, which is expected, but the context is empty. Why is it empty? I am not sure. Um, okay, so let's see. Console log known keys, all right? And then we want to object keys from self so let's just compare that trigger the execution unexpected what invalid or unexpected token eval code oh i broke the cut it's like what that should work okay so it doesn't eval doesn't actually assign it as a global variable that's interesting we got the parser required, we got the close, we got the name. Hmm. Ah, okay. Um right, so we've got web worker eval. Replacing eval with a web worker. Yes, this is exactly what we want to do. The question is so window alert, alert, console uh, self add message. Worker start, this editor get the value, create object, new worker. Um, where's his evaluation thing? Based on stringify, array, prototype, slice, call. Let me fill this methods. This is not what I want. Okay, I mean, that's this gotta be an uh, oh, web worker eval. There's a library for that. How would do you? So, we got this code, we got this thing. How does it work? Vivo. Okay, so we got da -da -da, message, JSON parse, message data, callbacks. Uh, once da -da -da, on off. Where's the eval parts? Uh, JSON stringify, name, args, loots, deval. Oh, 
What is deval? Where is it come from? What is this? So they're using some sort of a package. Okay, yes. Like eval but backwards. What do you what do you mean like eval but backwards? Oh, it, it puts it so it converts it into a string. Why would you want that? Um Code deval function prelude codes. Oh, this is basically the polyfill web worker create blah. emitter for web worker. So what is the emitter for? That is a tricky way of doing. Oh, so they literally just run the code there, but wrap it with a prelude that essentially does the things. That is actually a pretty smart way of doing it, but I don't know if we want that. Uh, JavaScript sandbox in a web worker. There's gonna be a very simple way of doing it, right? So we got the sandbox, yes. And how does the sandbox looks? Self phone code results, eval, edata. Is that just once, Jason? I mean, that still doesn't give me the variable from there. <laughs> eval code, right? So we got the codes. The code here is whatever the user code is. Does it once the string define? No, that should not make sense, right? I wonder if we can just wrap it and maybe additional function. So we got the codes. And uh, if we have the self invoking function, that will be called from self, right? So this is because we want to execute it with the self environment, essentially. Okay, and there is no difference. And yeah, obviously the context is going to be empty. Okay, so this approach doesn't actually work, which is disappointing, but not a big problem. So we are gonna, we are gonna figure out to do. So basically, this doesn't work. We already know that. So we are, I'm, I'm just going to keep the eval code. I'm gonna kill all of that and I'm gonna return the result for now. Okay, uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just take this parser and traverse, right? And move it over here. I'm um, gonna take this and I guess we just do this parse code for values. So we've got the code. But this has to be slightly different, right? So because we uh, node value variable declaration. So code, um, let's call it find variable declaration, right? So we got this and path node so okay, first of all, console log path node, which means that here, instead of calling this thing, we are gonna be calling, we got the eval worker, war worker, await find eval worker, we are gonna be saying, uh, I don't know, this current React already supports the asynchronous components. The suspense still not shipped, right? But uh, well, let's see how that actually works. No, wait, this is a test, so that should work actually. No, it shouldn't because it's gonna call them here and that should be awaited. Mm. <laughs> it's gonna return a promise. So basically we need some wrapper there for that. Okay, we're gonna figure it out later on eval so we do that we test uh return that i think that's the only thing right so we we should search for chain codes variable name is gonna be change me right this is what we want to do i do no i don't pass actually the eval worker is going to be this eval worker instance. Okay. And if I reload that, 
get rid of undefined. Uh, what do you mean of undefined? Eval worker. I guess this should be if eval worker, we're just returning, right? So because we don't care. Okay, cool. So now we change that. Oh, obviously it's gonna tell us passing every time. Home just 26. Okay, this is not what so I actually can kill it from here for now. So we don't want this anymore. I guess I could just comment it. No, I mean, it will be easier to kill it because we're going to come back to that later on, right? Now the promises. Um, so we're on the test. I guess the test itself should return. How do we do that properly? It's going to be a promisified thing. So I guess one option is to return the React component. But the other option is to can you use wait a second is there a nice pattern where you can use react promise render promise is there like rendering a promise uh, da, 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 da. i mean we obviously could execute the yeah i guess that would be the best way right so we execute the tests and once they are finished so we change the code and then we execute tests because we just want to execute them uh, when the code changes right on test results maybe that's even cleaner than what was here before basically um and what we want is this right so we map it to this and await promise all. So we wait for all of them to finish. And uh, yes, there should be a sync. And then we say this set state test results, right? Results. And this should be executed upon code change essentially. Okay. And once this is executed, which means that we should say uh this state test results it's gonna be e test and tests is gonna be either true or false and that now should actually render it correctly unless i screwed something up uh can it render property map of undefined uh right okay we have to initialize that somehow um so mtra okay now we are running and test is failing for whatever reason we just need to fix that and uh email worker is i guess we yeah, return false why is it not a uh, test code evil worker this evil worker instance this is correct right we have it yeah we have it okay this state user code yes what what is it not liking so we got code and we got evil worker so log run test okay this is the last bit we're gonna figure out for today as this is way longer than i expected it to be but uh, you know at least we got the solid base basically for continuing change bf anonymous okay so this is seems to be working run test okay all log um finding declaration right let's see where exactly it breaks two okay so it does trigger the find variable declaration and oh it's actually code and yeah right okay i'm changed it but haven't changed the signature here okay code variable uh what was the variable name right there we go variable name now it should actually execute it correctly right and we want to see id name okay so and 
path node ID name equals variable name. There we go. So it's basically going to be a simple function that finds the declaration and returns the value. Ta-da. Okay, this works. The preview doesn't work. Oh, right, because we changed how it is executed. Um, but I guess we could also use the... So we're, first of all, we don't really need that here anymore, right? We have the test here, the preview. Uh, right. How do we do the preview correctly? I guess we could also do this, right? So the let's just do it stupidly for now and then change it later on on the upcoming stream. Okay. Um, So I guess do, 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 sync code to value. And uh, what we're gonna do here is gonna say a result is gonna be a wait, uh, whoops. Yeah, I guess this works. State value, right? Value, uh, no wait, state is gonna be value in it so we're basically loading and then we're going to change this value code is going to be this props code uh, this state value okay and uh, we have to trigger that every time we get new properties which means we need that derived derived state from props derived state from props and uh, probably the next live stream would be then investigating how to do eval properly to get the values get derived state commanders there we go this is what we want okay so basically once the props come if Yes, yeah, I guess we will just say we have the code that is empty. If state codes not equal props code, then we are gonna say um, codes, no, this code to value, right? So we're gonna value, I'm gonna return code props code. Otherwise, we're going to return state. I think that should do it. Nope. Code to value of undefined. What? Oh, because it's static. Uh, okay, so I guess I get. Can we just do it a sync static? Is that a thing? Um. Like this, would that work? Or is it static async? How do, you, how do you properly define that? That's too many keywords for me. You work now. I promise evil worker is not defined. Oh, right. The, uh, props evil worker. And that means we have to pass the evil worker to the preview component. Uh, this state user code, uh, we restore that eval worker, eval worker instance, and now that should work theoretically. Can I read property find variable declaration of undefined? Uh, okay. First of all, if and. Right, so. Now it initializes and now if we change that and it actually can I read property props of undefined what? Mission one on the style uh, props of oh god damn it. Right, this is yes, copy pasting code never works out too well, but um hey. Okay, I think Okay, so the tests are working, but the preview is not working. Um, I wonder why. Okay, so wait a second, console log. Let me just do this. 
Is it because it's asynchronous? I guess it's because it's asynchronous, right? So we actually have to somehow. Oh dear, okay, how do we do that properly? Like this is an async operation, but it has to trigger. How do you do that? <laughs> you probably don't need. Okay, so what can we do? This set state. What are our options? Handle events. Like I need, we need this async component will receive props. The thing is that we don't really care much about the setting the props to state, but we want to react on them and execute the function on the props. Man, I cannot wait, like the React suspense cannot come soon enough for this. Okay, there was this component will receive props. It was unsafe now, right? So we can use it for now. Um, right, so okay, I'm just gonna paste this. And then React component will receive props. It was unsafe, yeah. So we're just gonna use the unsafe method for now and uh, next props okay so and then we're going to have a sync method that's going to be called uh, execute code going to take the code and then going to say okay value is going to be code and variable name is going to be change me and then it's going to set state value right so we're going to just do that Okay, if next props code equals this state code. Uh, no, I got, wait, wait a second. There was the next props, I guess this props, right? Code, so if it's the same code, then we just return. If it's not the same code, then we do this execute code and we do next props code. If you are watching this and you know the better way of doing it, feel free to send me a pull request or just tell me how the hell could I do it better. It is still initializing. Why is it still initializing? Are you, is that always true? Am I just doing it wrong? Uh, compare. Let's do this and uh, where's my console now? So, okay, we're loading to Props is not defined. What do you mean props is not defined? Oh, God damn it. I am just doing C, wait, I've been, co like this stream has been going for way longer than I, I'm used to. I think I'm just tired of all of that, of undefined. This props eval worker. Uh, so why are you, I guess maybe, it's just that next prop so we're gonna have code and uh, eval worker right maybe this would work hey there we go okay finally this thing works we can kill that again this is unsafe deprecated method but for now i don't really see any better way once again as i said you know these react suspense cannot come fast enough but uh, it's actually working. The logic is now in the web worker and it's all nice and clean. And uh, what we need to do is figure out, figure out how to do eval in web worker and extract new global variables, right? So this is one of the things and the, apparently the key enumeration approach didn't really work. All right, um, guys, I'm going to be committing that and we're going to be wrapping the stream up here. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to send them in the chat right now. If not, then thank you very much for watching. It was a bit longer than I wanted it to be, but uh, it was pretty cool as well. Right. Uh, so what did we actually do? Um, ta -ta 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 -ta. Okay, we moved the logic into web worker. Move the logic into web worker Bleh. cool okay i'm really glad to hear that you liked it um 
I think I am a bit too tired, so there was a more than more than a usual amount of stupid things happening, but you know it somehow worked out. All right. Um, yes, please push that. Cool. So yes, last so next stream we could basically figure out the eval and start doing the conditional mission, maybe even function mission, which would be a bit trickier. Once those are done, we can start working on a nicer user interface, I guess. All right, so we can close this and uh, well, I mean, we did quite a lot of work actually, and I forgot to update the dependency, but I am too lazy to do that. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Um, once again, if you have any suggestions or you know things that could have been done better than how I did it throughout the streams, feel free to send the pull requests or come nag me in the Discord chat. Always happy to do that, uh, to discuss the approaches. And yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.